Hello friends, welcome back to another Rec Room video. Disclaimer, it's been a while since my last video. I wanted to come on and upload a lot sooner than this, but I'm just getting over a cold. I lost my voice and while my friends might have been grateful for the peace and quiet, I am slowly getting it back. But I still have a stuffy nose and I sound a little weird, but we're gonna push through this and get on with this video. Woohoo! <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> I'm really enjoying making all of these videos for you guys and um, I'm enjoying getting to interact with all of you. Thanks for all the nice comments and messages you've been leaving me. I even had the opportunity to meet a lot of you in a rec room, so that's been really fun. You all seem to really like my seller swag video. I will link it down below if you haven't already seen it. When I'm out exploring rec room, the most frequently asked question I get is about the maker pen. How to use it, how to get better at it, how I personally started, where I learned it from. So that is what I'm gonna be talking about with you guys in this video, kind of like a real quick crash course, just to go over a few of the settings of the Maker Pen, just to get you guys started. If you have a Discord, I highly recommend signing up for a Maker Pen class. I took one a very long time ago when I first started building. I had such a good time. I learned a lot of tips and tricks, and I met some of the best people. Most of the classes meet weekly and have experienced builders that will help you learn everything you need to know about the Maker Pen. Um, this will just be a quick overview. Um, so let's get started. <laughs> Roll call. <laughs> Zimph. Present. Okay, now let's start the class. <laughs> This is my lovely assistant, Zem. She's an inking ambassador, one of the best people you could ever meet, and she's an amazing builder. So she's perfect to help me um, teach you guys about the Maker Pen. All right, first things first, I'm gonna explain the part you probably see in just about every single Rec Room Maker Pen tutorial video we've ever seen on YouTube, and that is how to favor and take out your Maker Pen. Would you like to learn, Zem, how to do this? Yes, I would. How do you take out your maker pen? I have no idea. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to favorite it. So we're going to open our watch, and then we're going to go to backpack. Once we're in the backpack, we're going to find the maker pen, and then we're going to click favorite. And this way, you can pull it out from your backpack, or now that it's favorited, you can just pull it like magic from behind your ear. Voila! <laughs> A plus, Sim. A plus. <laughs> We're gonna go over the tool settings. For this, I'm gonna use a cube, just a simple cube, and we're gonna go to tools, and we're gonna go a quick, quick explanation of what these tools will be. So we have select, select, you select. <laughs> select the shape. We can configure the shape. When you press configure, you can adjust like texture settings and um, yeah. <laughs> Transform, you can rotate and you can scale, and you can move, move, you move, <laughs> your shape, rotate, rotate, scaling, you have clone, you can also flip, this is the, this is the flip icon, so you can, I mean it's a cube so you can't see it flip, but yeah, we can flip it like that. You can also recolor um, your cube. And from here, you can go to swatches, and you can save swatches, and then you can go quickly, um, go to your swatches and be like, oh, I want this swatch that I saved. Very helpful. And then you have to freeze, and then manipulate. Or you can manipulate the sides and the shape. Make it as thick as you want, as thin as you want as long as you want. This is really good for walls, making walls. Um, and you have the delete. It's a very quick and simple explanation of what the tools are. Ziv, what are you making? I have no idea. Okay, so we're gonna take out our maker pen and we're gonna just go over the quick uh, tabs at the bottom first. So we have config, we have palette, tools, logging and this room. For this uh, purpose of this video, we're gonna ignore the logging and this room and probably config too. We're gonna stick, this is a crash course, so we're just gonna stick to the very basics. Um, so we're gonna go to palette, 
So palette is where uh, I usually go first. So this is where you can pick your shapes. You can see all the pre-made shapes like cubes, spheres, cylinders, and then you have the tube and ribbon, which we'll go over later. And then we have the swatches where you can pick the color and your material. And now that we have the new custom color, slider. So much fun. I love it. What do you think about that custom color, Zymph? You like the custom colors? <laughs> So many custom colors. <laughs> so many colors. Oh, I'm getting tunnel vision. And then we have the props. We got the uh, rec room pre-made props. And then next we have inventions. These can be your inventions, the store inventions, inventions that you own and uh, downloaded. And then we have circuits, which we're not really going to play with today. We got circuits and then uh, CV1 legacy. So... And then when you go down at the bottom, we have tools. So under tools, we're just going to focus on the right side settings. And this will be mostly tubing because a lot of people ask me about tubes. And I didn't know, I didn't learn all, everything I needed to know about tubes until like way after I got into <laughs> building. So to get a tube, we're going to go to palette and go to shapes. And then we're going to select tubes. And then we're going to go back to tools. I'm also going to teach you about snapping. At the top, you get snapping. So you get the off, which you can put the tube anywhere. And then you get surface, which will put the tube on the nearest surface space. And then you get grid, which will put the tube on an invisible grid. <laughs> and that is a good point to leading up to my next... <laughs> My next point. Good job, Zim. <laughs> okay. So when you have tube, when you when you select the tube, you're gonna get all of these settings specifically for tubes. So Zimf made a line that's all kinds of cro crooked, it's wonky, and a lot of people um, don't understand how they can go from that to this nice straight line. So I'm gonna teach you guys that. So if you go to create tool settings and you push it down, so Ziv has uniform shapes turned off and I have them turned on. So non-uniform shape and a uniform shape. So when we turn that off, it's going to look like Zimf's shape. And then you can draw however you want it. <laughs> so because this is a crash course, um, I'm just going to mostly uh, talk about the uniform shapes one under this setting. Um, yeah. And then you go to the next setting, which is create tube settings. And here we can play around with the size of the tube and the width of the tube and the shape of the tube. This is the main thing I use when I, uh, when I make my tube work. Zimf, what about you? I think this is the most, uh, this is the most used setting for me. Mm -hmm. So yes. we have the tube radius. Yes. So we have the smallest. And then if you go up, it just gets bigger as you go up. And you can use these to make all kinds of fun shapes. All kinds of unique shapes. Uh, I mostly use tubes in my builds. Look how huge it can get. <laughs> Jeez. So yeah, that's what, the, um, that's what the tube radius does. So the next thing is the tube height scale. So yeah, tube height scale. See how thin it is. Very thin. Smallest. And then we're just going to use, we're just going to slide up to the biggest. So here's the differences in the uh, scale of the tube. So if you plus mess around with the um, slider, you got the thinnest at 0 0.1 and you got the roundest at 1. And the next thing, the next thing we're going to go over is facets. I didn't know what the heck a facet was on, uh, <laughs> on these shapes. I was like, what is this? No one taught me this until I got to um, my maker pen class. So we have a facet of three, which is a triangle. We got a four, a five, six, and a 10. So these are just, this just means how many sides are in your tube. So. That was very helpful <laughs> once I learned that. I love tube, so I love using the different facets. It's really helpful when I want to get these nice, neat, unique shapes. I had no idea, you know, I, I, I had no idea what these um, settings were, so I would always play with them. And 
I would like mess around with them, make a shape, and then mess around with them, make another shape. And I'm like, why isn't this the same shape? Well, I changed everything about the tube. <laughs> these are the tube characteristics. And um, these are the main settings your tubes will use. So the next thing we're going to uh, do is smooth tubes. We're going to talk about smooth tubes. Smooth tubes is very straight. It's very flat. So when you turn on smooth tubes, it's very shiny and smooth looking. The little point at the top. So smooth tubes turned on, you get this tiny little point at the top. And smooth tubes turned off, you get a nice flat top. Connect nearby tubes. This one's simple enough, self-explanatory. So if I make one tube, and I want to make another tube smaller, and I want them to connect, I'll turn that on, and it becomes one shape. But if I do not want them to uh, connect, I'll turn that off. Get my one tube let go and then I'll make another tube. So tubes connected, tubes not connected. I had no idea about the smooth tubes thing. I was no way. why I had to have that little pokey thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I learned something new every day. Yay, you learned That's why something. I'm in this class. <laughs> I'm a good teacher. <laughs> All right. Well, Zimp learned something new. I hope you're <laughs> learning something new as well. So the next thing we're going to be talking about is snapping settings. And this is for grid. Um, so the position of your snap. You have a tube and you want your snap to be very, very short and get it close as possible to, uh, to the next no nodule. You're going to put it at the lowest one. And if you want it to um, be bigger, you kind of gonna you're gonna feel this one. It's hard to explain it, but you're gonna feel it. So the more you push your settings up the slider, the longer the gap is gonna be from one nodule to the next. See how it's slowly getting further away from me, and when I go down, it's slowly getting longer as we go. Okay, a lot of people don't know that you can double edit a tube. So I'm gonna, we're gonna teach you how to do that. You're gonna go to your palettes and click your tube. And then you can mess with your tube settings. You can, you can click the radius you want and um, the facets that you want. For me, I'm going to pick 0 0.04. My height is going to be all the way up and I'm going to have a 10 facet. I'm going to make a, just a basic three, three point. Oopsie. That I see that my tube is not connected and I want it to be connected. So I'm going to go all the way down my settings and then click, click connect nearby tubes. And then I'm going, it's going to connect. There we go. So I made a three point tube. So I got a point right here a point right here and a point over here. This is how you double edit a tube. So all right now I'm in editing. <clears throat> I'm editing the shape, this tube. I'm gonna click edit again and then click it. And these little points should show up. This is double editing. And what you can do is you can manipulate these points. So we can move, say I wanna move this one up. Can move it up, can move it down, can move it all around. Yeah, <laughs> it's doing the worm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so we can move these points however we want to. And it's so much easy because it stays on the grid if you uh, use the the arrows or uh, the grid icon itself. We can also scale these however we want. So if I want a larger uh, point over here and I want a smaller one over here, I can do that. And it's super easy to do. I love double editing too, but it makes building so much easier. Um, I rarely use rotate. I usually stick with move and scale. But yeah, so that's how you double edit a tube. Beautiful shape, Zenth. A plus. Original. Yes. Never seen that before. And that is why I love tube, because <laughs> you can get any shape you want. Any shape you can imagine. You can just take your tube out. Oh, that sounded dirty. <laughs> <laughs> you could just you can make your own tube <laughs> however you wish it to be <laughs> so my person my first public invention oh is mooncake <laughs> mm, he's so cute <laughs> oh. hello uh, 
how are you? So this is your very first invention? <laughs> yes. And, and so he is is not made out of any tubing except for the little the little ear things were made out of tube and that antenna. Everything else was was the basic simple shapes. Yes, that's how I started too, basic simple shapes. And not many people know that uh, round shapes, when you put them in, if they're small and you save or leave the room and come back, they can press into uh, squares, into cubes. So that's why I switched to tube. So this is your very first invention. And after you learned the maker pen, yeah. what is the last thing that you made? The oh, last one that I worked my on. Gosh, <laughs> the, that is that's amazing. <laughs> That's that's all tube, right? <laughs> Mostly? Yes, this one is entirely of tube. Everything oh, is tube here. Oh my gosh, it's so good. You've come such a long way, friend. <laughs> so good. All right, so Zimp's cute little uh cute little guy. That was her first invention. This is my first in public invention. It's just shapes. <laughs> just shapes, half circles and cubes. Um, this was for a, a PVP I made in a bakery. So this was my first public invention. The the, the eggs are floating. <laughs> eggs are floating. Um, <laughs> and like, they're, it's they're just a, little it's a hot mess. I would say it's <laughs> excellent, but I would be lying. So let me show you <laughs> my last invention that I made. Let's see. And this big boy, this big boy is my uh, last published invention the last thing i made <laughs> isn't he cute he's so handsome come here come here give me up <laughs> i went from a carton of eggs to a uh, crepus over here so <laughs> so yeah i went from this to that basic shapes and then all tube i love tube i love it love it love it and I will not go back. It's just too much fun. <laughs> but look how far we've come. We've come such a long way. I'm so proud of us. <laughs> and you too can come a long way. You too can play with tube. I would just practice. Take your maker pen out. Play around with it. Just, you know, follow these quick little tips. And and just create. Go out and create something fun. Go out, create something new. And that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any other questions about the Maker Pen, I would love to answer them. Just leave me a comment down below and I will try to make a more detailed <laughs> video later. This was just supposed to be a really, really quick crash course, but I would love to talk more about the Maker Pen. Just let me know. If you haven't already subscribed and liked the video, please do so. And remember to click that notification bell for future content. I want to thank Zemph here. She's amazing. I think she also has a YouTube channel down below. Oh, where'd you go? I do, I do. <laughs> You're over there. <laughs> I will try to link it down below for you guys. Take a look at it. She's an amazing builder. And um, yeah, you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.